Hi, my name is Andrew. Thank you for visiting my YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to focus on Middle East Seed Capital Investors, and this is a series of videos on investor profiles that are part of my Middle East fundraising database. The guide to Middle East Capital includes the following. It has 325 company names, key contacts, the type of business, sectors of potential investment interest, websites, company emails, key contact emails, and key outreach strategy points. And the database will be delivered in Excel spreadsheet format. Some key database statistics, about 185 or 57 percent of the companies are based in the UAE, 60 companies are based in Saudi Arabia, and 125 companies are either venture capital, private equity, or angel investor groups, so that's about 40 percent. This is the best database for first-time fundraising in the Middle East. This video highlights GAF Capital in the UAE, and they are one of 325 venture capital, private equity, angel groups, and investment companies in my exclusive Middle East fundraising database. Company Snapshot, they're based in the United Arab Emirates, and they're classified as an investment company and a venture capital firm, and their focus is on technology, fintech, and venture capital opportunities. Company description, GAF Capital Partners is a venture capital firm that is based in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. The firm is based on relationships and partnerships and strive only for excellence and nothing else. Company focus, investor approach and strategy. GAF Capital Partners is a pioneering blockchain only private capital firm based in Dubai, UAE, leveraging the distinctive characteristics of the GAF tree as an inspiration for its values and strategies. Acting as an extended team for its partners and portfolio companies, GAF Capital Partners adds value as a strategic partner and growth accelerators in the blockchain and Web3 sector. Investment focus, GAF Capital Partners has a clear mission to invest in the best teams and startups in the blockchain industry, offering innovative solutions for a smarter way of life. With a highly skilled team dedicated to creating effective value-added partnerships, GAF Capital Partners collaborates with leading companies to achieve maximum value creation in the blockchain sector. The firm welcomes early stage next generation projects as well as later stage well-established companies with a focus on revolutionizing the blockchain industry. Geographic reach, GAF Capital Partners based in Dubai UAE aims to be the most trusted and reputable blockchain financial and growth partner for entrepreneurs and business partners. The firm offers inclusion to its extensive network and deep-rooted knowledge in the MIA region. And here are some of their previous investments. So potential investment opportunities to approach them with? Well, for this company and 325 of the other companies, you're gonna see the Excel spreadsheet. And I do this for all of them to just give you a bit of a, an uh, idea of what you could approach them with. Now, it doesn't mean that they're going to invest in these today or tomorrow, but based on their website, press releases, other uh, firms in their sector, uh, I've tried to help you by highlighting them. So as you build the database, you're gonna have uh, opportunities to take a look at them. Now this one is really simple given their past investment patterns and their existing philosophy. You may want to propose the following investment opportunities. Right off the bat, these guys are specialized in blockchain technology and fintech and those are the three big ones. But anything blockchain related uh, is going to catch their attention. One of the key benefits of my Middle East database is that it also includes tips for investor outreach. And I specifically created this for people who are just building out their first uh, Middle East database or looking to reach out to potential investors in the Middle East for the first time. It's a lot different than in the West. You do need to uh, adhere to some protocols when it comes to moving up the ladder. For example, you shouldn't be sending your pitch deck or your investment opportunity to a CEO or a chairman on your first uh, 
introduction. Uh, so there's a way to do it, and this database is really going to help you. And you're going to see the spreadsheet coming up a little bit later. It's going to help fill all this in. So f what I suggest in the first part is you want to aim for associate level, investment advisor, director level, maybe VP uh, for your first initial approach to these type of contacts. And again, it's just an introduction of who you are and a fact-finding email. And if you do that, this is going to make your next uh, approach uh, and your relationship building a lot easier. So I've helped on this by having key outreach touch points. So for example, if you know who the contact is and you're comfortable to approach them, what you could use in this case is an email that has uh, GAF Capital's record in investment activities is commendable. We present a proposition that might resonate with your portfolio. So if that's part of the email, then you know that they're going to know that it's not a spam email that you're sending out to 50 firms. Most of these companies are going to get 50 to 100 emails a day. Yes, 50 to 100 a day. So you're going to want to make sure that you customize it, make it personal, uh, and try not to uh, move further than you should in the first steps. And it's really, really key when you're trying to build relationships in the Middle East because although in the database there's many contacts at the CEO, chairman, and partner level, don't try to approach them in the first step. Just try to go for, again, the associate investment advisor director level. It's going to make your job a lot easier. Now, if you do not know who the contact is in the database, you're going to find there's a lot of info at uh, basically company email domain uh, emails. Uh, it's just part of the database. Uh, and you're going to have admin at, some marketing at, that sort of thing. But I've also included a large amount of the HR contacts in this database. And why that's important is, is if you send something to an HR contact, they're going to do one of two things. They're going to send you back an email giving you the contact person, or they're going to forward it to that contact person. Again, they're not going to send it to the CEO or the chairman. They're going to send it to somebody at a lower level first because that's their job. Most of the people that work in these type of firms, their job is to analyze opportunities. And again, they, some of them are getting 50 to 100 a day. Uh, so they may have one, two, three analysts that do nothing but uh, review opportunities. And then what they do is if something looks really interesting, then they'll touch base with you, get more information. And only then will it go to the CEO or the chairman or somebody at the investment level. If you learn these things, you're gonna, uh, it's going to really help you. Plus, these contacts give you more information because you're going to be able to communicate with them. Uh, now, in this case, for example, you may send them an email with a subject heading partnering, partnering with GAF Capital and your key email approach may include, we believe our initiative could fit with your strategy. Who might we share more details with? So you see what you're doing is you're not sending them a pitch deck. You're not sending them an investment opportunity for a 50 million or $100 million real estate project. You're not trying to sell them uh, some stock market opportunity. You're just saying, I'm interested in learning more about who I should contact, who should that be? So they're not going to just delete that. They're going to help you out, especially if you send it to HR. That's their job. Their job is to facilitate these things. And if you do this, it's really going to help you out. You want to create a database of key contacts at many levels in these companies. You're going to explore the focus of their company. But most of all, you're going to understand their internal process of how they evaluate opportunities. And the people at these associate level, investment advisor, director levels are going to do that for you. And this is the best way for you to work out your future uh, pitch to them. Uh, when I was working in the Middle East, specifically Dubai, I helped our company database. I helped build it out. And I was also a key contact for uh, investment opportunities. And we were working on behalf of ultra high net worth individuals and groups uh, in the UAE. And some of these were people on the buy side, but some of them were on the sell side. In other words, they would come to us if they wanted to buy assets or invest in assets. And they would also come to us if they wanted to dis dispose their assets. And keep in mind, these were real estate assets primarily anywhere from 50 million to 250 million dollars so we were not in the real estate business at the low end we were at the very highest end uh, because when you're doing with uh, 200 250 million dollars in us uh, that's large projects not only in the uae but on a global basis so if you follow these steps this is really going to help you because building relationships matters in the middle east and it's going to really help you when you start to conduct your own fundraising so let's take a look at the database. So now we're over on the database section and this is the Excel spreadsheet that 
includes all the contacts in the Middle East Capital database and as you can see on the very top we've got 325 companies uh, we have their country description of the firm their main business interests their websites and they've all been verified uh, and of course this database will be suitable for all of 2024 I also have included their investment targets uh, one and two and three so those are based on information that is publicly known information that is on their websites of different investments and types of sectors that they will look at so again this database is really meant for people who are building a larger data set of Middle East companies to either uh, approach for funding or to possibly promote their products to because there's a blend of venture capital private equity family investment offices and investment companies and high-profile companies in the UAE that are led by UAE national so it's a really great database for companies that really want to get a very good look at some of the key parties in the Middle East when it comes to raising capital it also has their investment territory uh, which includes whether they're just looking at either the Middle East or whether they're looking MENA or whether they're looking global I've also included their key real estate assets if they're investment companies that tend to look at real estate I've included those as well in this database now it also has as far as key touch points uh, it has their company emails and in some cases it's not available because they want you to actually submit your details via their forum uh, but I'll get to the key stats a little bit later on you also saw that in the initial uh, slide presentation telephone numbers and contact numbers there are two what I call primary contacts and then there's a third which is the secondary contacts the key contacts could include CEOs managing directors executive directors and that is the same with the secondary uh, second contact title you can see operations manager directors of real estate presidents and so on and so on and the main reason for that is so that you have a senior contact that you can reach out to you can also check them on LinkedIn to get more details uh, and many cases their email addresses have already been included and I'm going to get to that again when we go to the stats page and the third email contact tends to be somebody in HR and the reason I've done that is because this database is very unique in the fact that I include outreach approach tips for each of these firms uh, there are two types one is a outreach uh, touch point if you know who the contact is in other words if it's been already identified by myself then you could uh, send them a line that I've included here in all the con companies uh, for example Saudi has a strong track record in urban development in Kuwait would you be interested in you unique investment opportunity that complements your portfolio and the reason I include these is to help people write their first letters and also to show you that you should not be spamming this type of list with just a generic email approach uh, uh, talking about your company and the investment opportunity this allows you to add a little bit of information about them so whoever receives it is going to know that you did a little bit of work and it should not be considered a spam and the second reason here is I've got contact sourcing outreach approach and this is if you do not know who the contact is and this is really key because in some cases you may not have a contact and this is the perfect way for you to introduce yourself for example in this case I put subject request for direct contact with investment division uh, and then as the body of the, the email make include I believe you might be the right person to assist me we're exploring potential investment opportunities that align with Salia's investments vision could you direct us to the person or team responsible for evaluating such opportunities and you can see as I scroll down here it is included in that type of line they're all customized of course uh, the same with the ones for the direct contacts that are known they actually talk about something the company has done something they have invested in the sectors uh, or possibly what their company uh, vision is and this is really going to help you especially if you're doing first-time fundraising or if you just want to save time when it comes to your research for these type of firms that's what makes this database unique another thing that makes it unique is it really sticks to mainly uh, the type of companies that are either 
venture capital, private equity, uh, investment companies. Uh, so there's no fluff in here. There's no companies in here that are, should not be in here. And that is the difference between this database and other databases that are out there uh, that talk about investments and reaching out to uh, other investors. For example, there's very little here when it comes to accelerators. There might be a couple of them. But it's not plugged full of what I would call just garbage contacts. These are really key companies that are perfect for reaching out to whether you're raising funds or whether you want to present opportunities, whether it's real estate, investment opportunities, and the like. So let's take a look at some of the stats. So the underlying stats are there's 470 firms, 340 prime contacts, 90 third tier contacts, uh, and 90 email contacts when it comes to the third tier. So you're getting about 400 and a little over 450 uh, emails and the total company emails are 275 so those would be info at admin at that sort. So that's a really key overview of the database. Again this is going to be a series where I'm going to highlight each of the contacts. For more information on this database contact www.dubaiinvestorslist.com that's dubaiinvestorslist.com Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share, and subscribe.